The Times Fortnite forgot about the storyline. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the mysteries. PBJ made a fantastic video on the subject talking about Geno and so much more. Today we're talking about the Fortnite storyline. We are reacting to PBJ. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with many YouTube channels. Guys, check out PBJ in the description. Pin comment down below. It's a fantastic, fantastic channel. He's been popping off for a reason. Also, one more thing. Uh, please ignore the placement of my headset. I have my baby, my baby right next to me who has hiccups, and I need to make sure she's not choking. With that being said, let's <laughs> let's react to this video by PBJ. This is Geno, Fortnite's main antagonist. By the time we finally got to see him, he was already dead, or so we thought. There was a huge unsolved mystery with Geno. What happened to him? Is he alive? And if he is, where is he? He's definitely alive. I don't know where he is. And by the way, how good is that hook, dude? This man is one of the best editors I know. Just like the way he structures it. Like, oh, I'm so happy he's blowing up, man. This is only one of the many unsolved mysteries we're going to be covering today. But for Geno, first we need to start with how he died. After being hyped up, I can get you to Geno. And revealed to be a huge, terrible person who seeked perfection over everything else, even his daughters, he died. Get this to his daughter. But here's the thing. That's such a crazy scene, Even by the way. I want to look at that again. He died. Get this to like, his daughter. I miss the comics so much, man. Like, oh, it's so cool. So cool. It's I'm, My face cam's covering it. This is ridiculous. You're still my blood. Just ask and I'll let you live. So, I'll send you somewhere safe. Well, not this feral little creature who insists on stabbing me. It's starting to get extremely tiresome. Like, I thought the comics were amazing, but I know it's a little bit besides the point. Let's continue on. But here's the thing. Geno seeked perfection, and in the years of seeking perfection, he found the key to immortality. So, at the end of this comic book, it leaves us with a huge cliffhanger. In Geno's final moment, it says, not the end. And he yeah, he's definitely still around. Years later, we still have no idea what that was supposed to mean. He this is what I want to know. Is Charlie Wen going to reboot this like are we still gonna see the seven are we still gonna see geno like we have the return of midas but midas may have taken off so maybe he was just like hey something fun to start off the storyline before charlie Wynn starts cooking with his own storyline i still don't know i would imagine that we're gonna see it but still very interesting he has not returned leaving us with a great unsolved mystery but unlike geno in our next unsolved mystery we have some hints on what might have happened sure. The, well, the seven, seven have suddenly tempting. disappeared, leaving many players wondering where they are, are they alive, and what happened. This if I had to guess, like, just, I know it's pretty much impossible to know what happened to the Foundation right now, but I would imagine the Chrome rifted them to the Cube Cradle. That's my only guess. I don't think they're dead. Or if they are dead, they can get revived somehow. There's no way they just die like that. Seven is a group of people that escaped the loop, a prison built by the Zero Point. This group of people that had escaped decided they would rebel against Geno and the Imagine. Order, creating this group that we know as the Seven. But this quickly got out of hand. In Chapter 1, Season X, during the end event, we hear the scientist, one of the Seven, say, the nothing is now inevitable. And I still love that, man. I still love that they went back to the nothing is inevitable. We have been still talking about these Season X te teasers back in the day. I always love talking about because you remember how confusing it was? It's crazy to me, dude. And this was an unsolved mystery for years until Chapter 3 Season 4 when the Herald showed up to destroy our island using a new item called Chrome. Chrome could consume anything it touched and transfer it to any place. The Chrome was a gift to the Herald by The Nothing, the entity that the scientist mentioned all those years ago. And sadly, this is what happened to the Seven. They were consumed by the Chrome, end of story. I don't think that's the end of the story, though. That's the thing, but that's the end of the story as Fortnite told it. Wrong. Only three were confirmed to be consumed by the Chrome, transported to the last reality's cradle to be tortured. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I don't remember them being transferred to the cradle, but hey, you know what? Maybe I'm just skip missing a step here. Scientist, the visitor, and the origin were taken there. The Paradigm managed to escape, and she fought the Herald and won. But if she won, where is she now, and where are the other members of the Seven? Let's start with the Foundation. His helmet was spotted on the floor outside of his statue just before everyone went missing. He never went anywhere without his helmet, as it protected him from being captured by the loop. We do not know what exactly 
exactly happened to the Foundation. He could have been consumed by Chrome. That's our best guess. I feel like they would have mentioned it if he did get consumed by Chrome. I think they were waiting for some big reveal to come back. And that's the problem because Donald Mustard isn't part of this, right? We, Donald Mustard is now retired. We're not following his storyline. I don't know what's going to happen, man. But for now, this remains unsolved. Unlike the Imagined. The Imagined, another member of the Seven, died while fighting her father, Geno. But sadly, unlike her father, she does not have immortality. That's five <laughs> out of the Seven explained. The Order was Geno's other daughter. And after Imagined's death, she was upset and decided to leave. She went somewhere that we do not know. Simple. The Paradigm's explanation won't be that simple, though. The Paradigm was last spotted on Chapter 4 Season 1's trailer when the Zero Point pieced together the island. She was directing the Zero Point what to do and where to go, but then, after this trailer, she literally disappeared. She has not been seen again, so where is she? You, you, ever, you gotta wonder if the Order of the Foundation and the Paradigm are all together doing something. I don't think that's the case, but I'm just trying to brainstorm a little bit here. This remains unknown, but my theory is that she is located inside the Zero Point after it has been petrified and protecting itself with a new layer of- uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I They already did that with the Foundation, so maybe that has a little bit of merit, but I don't think that's the case. Rock. The only other time we have seen this happen was Chapter 2 Season 6, when the Foundation locked himself inside the Zero Point to repair it. Maybe the Paradigm did the same thing here. And maybe she is still located inside of the Zero Point to this day. The rest of this so. video will be in smaller portions, but still just as mysterious. <laughs> but still just as mysterious. She, oh, okay. She is an interesting one. Okay, I, I know what we're going to get into over here. In the Chapter 2 Season 8 cinematic event, the island was being overtaken by the last reality, and the Seven came to help us fight them off. And in the process, we heard some very interesting dialogue. Ugh, why does she make me keep saving you? This is the only context we hear of this sentence. We do not know who the Foundation meant when he said she, and we do not know what he meant when he mentioned saving him before this moment. The the Seven are so tied into the Zero Point, I almost want to say it is the Zero Point, because according to Cyan, I don't really know how he figured this out, but the Zero Point is kind of sentient, so maybe, I don't know, I don't know how that entire thing works if you want to pull out some, like, Attack on Titan timeline type thing, but the Zero Point could be responsible for saving Agent Jones, he's a core component to Fortnite, it would make sense, I think that's most likely, but even in saying that, like, it's a little bit ridiculous sounding. <laughs> The only thing that comes to mind when I think of she in this situation would be Dr. Sloan or the Zero Point. Dr. Sloan had Jones in prison at the time, and the Foundation had just saved him. But this doesn't explain why the Foundation would be told to save him. Yeah, because Dr. Sloan was kind of capturing Jonesy. And for the Zero Point, maybe the Zero Point told the Foundation to save him, but as of right now, this remains a mystery. The government was a mystery back in Chapter 1, and still is today. I thought this was the IO. Please correct me if I'm wrong, and PBJ as well, if you happen to be watching this, please correct me if I'm wrong. Who were they? What was their goal? Looking back on it, they had the same role that the IO had. The IO oversaw the island, they were the reason there was order. But if we take a deeper look, it might have a different outcome. But, but like, the... It was suggested the government came through the bunkers, unless the I.O. was just coming through the bunkers and the government, we don't know exactly where they came from, but I thought they were the same thing personally. For a long time, the government was simply just building huts, making buildings, repairing damages, stuff like that. They showed no sign of evil. But then again, yeah, PBJ is right, they did show no sign of evil, and also the I.O. typically has their markings all over their work, right, and there was just... No, no symbols anywhere with that. Until... I have no idea what happened. I had to reload it. I had to reload the entire page. Man, this video is a little bit of a mess. My apologies. Deeper look, it might have a different outcome. For a long time, the government was simply just building huts, making buildings, repairing damages, Hot stuff watch. like that. They showed no sign of evil. Until they discovered a giant metal floor under the ground. Where a layer of stone should be, but instead, it was just a flat metal. They yeah, but that would make sense for the IO to be the ones to just go there digging to try to find the zero point unless the IO already knows where the zero point is. It's a little bit confusing to me. They were curious, so they kept digging up places and eventually dug up Loot Lake, which caused them to find a giant vault. And they immediately went inside where they found the zero point. I believe this was the moment that they became the I.O. 
this was the moment that they saw power and went after it. Oh, okay. They found the zero point mm. and contained it. The well, didn't the didn't Doctor Sloan in Imposters or somebody whoever was talking Imposters say that they've been watching? the storyline for thousands and thousands of years or something like that government was the io but whether they knew about the zero point the whole time is unsure that's a toughie we have many more unsolved mysteries that seem to get weirder and weirder so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you're enjoying it is the cube queen still alive First, Probably. we have to talk about who the Cube Queen is. The Cube Queen is the queen over all of the cubes. In season seven, she made her appearance in the Mothership where she surprised everybody and- In the greatest season in Fortnite history, I might add. Brought all of the cubes back. They took over the island and she eventually brought the chapter two season eight event. So in chapter two season eight, the greatest event ever, we see the <laughs> Cube Queen reign over us and she is taking over the island. But towards the end of the event, we use our trick card. We flip the island, and the cube queen fails. She screams, and the portal closes. But we do not know if she survived or if she died. It this looks still like there's a little bit of a rift there. Like, if we were to rewind just a little she bit on that, it, it, it really, it really... She screams, and the portal closes. But we do not know if she survived. It just looks like it kind of teleports there. It's really tough to say. There's no way the Cube Queen just died to water. There's no way she just drowned. She was a fan favorite. Even if that was the plan, there is no way they got rid of the Cube Queen. You know what? I'll accept the Foundation dying. I'll accept Geno not coming back. But everybody was hyped about the last reality in the Cube Queen. There is no way that is the end of her story. Or if she died. This still remains the question. No way. No way. <laughs> Is the Herald alive? And if so, where did she go? First, I have to explain who the Herald is if you guys don't know. The Herald was first spotted at the end of the trailer in Chapter 3. And was one of the biggest missed opportunities of all time. You remember, it was so cool this moment speculating who this was. Season 3. She was spotted spying over our island looking through a little glass ball. She made her way to the island and took a big portion of the island eventually growing roots that spread to the zero points. She used these roots to explode the zero point using chrome and tucking herself inside of a tree using the chrome to protect herself. But in chapter four, her tree was found on the island, fully chrome at first, but later in the season, we see a hole in the back of the tree and the tree is no longer chrome. So we know that the Herald is still alive and it was so hype, but now we don't know if this story is gonna continue and this is where it hurts because the Herald was part of the last reality. The Herald was here to warn about the last reality or kind of to warn, you get what I'm saying there, but it was, it was so hype and it's just the story's dying down and it's so unfortunate. This leaves us with the question, did she escape? And if well, she yeah. did, we can assume she used the chrome to get back to the cube cradle where the seven are. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want a part two, make sure to comment and subscribe. Use and co use code PPJ in the item shop, guys. It's an absolutely fantastic channel. It was an absolutely fantastic video, guys. I love the way that man edits. I love the way he structures his videos. There's a reason why he's popping off. And you guys need to go on his channel right now and be like, yo, PPJ, we need more uploads because the man has been lacking on the uploads. I need my fix of PPJ. But honestly, it's very interesting. And this is where it, this entire thing kind of just made me a little bit sad because I really want the storyline to continue. I want to see what happened with Geno. I'm not going to lie. I'm not as big on the seven storyline as everybody else, but I'm still very interested. I want to see what happened with Geno. I want to see what happened with the Order and the Imagine, but mostly because they're tied with Geno. And I want to know what happened with the Cube Queen and the Herald. That's the storyline that I cannot wait for. That's the storyline that I was so invested in. I want to learn more about the nothing. There was so much potential with Bites. There was so much potential with the Herald. I just miss Donald Mustard's story. And guys, I want to get this channel big enough where I can talk to Donald Mustard one day about it, ask him his storyline secrets, ask him about Fortnite. That would be absolutely incredible, man. That would be insane if I could ever do that. But guys, let me know what you think and any of your theories down below. Ooh, that would make for a pretty good reply room, by the way. And go check out PBJ down below. Check out this video on screen, by the way, where we react to another one of PBJ's videos because he's the GOAT. See you there, guys. Take care.